I think I'm just going to keep this. Maybe I don't keep Loot Hoarder. I can turn two, coin Tinkertown if I want. And then t if I want to, turn three, a Druid of the Claw. Loot Hoarder is fairly bad against the Mage Hero Power. I'm just going to keep this. Mana Worm. Mana Worm's pretty powerful. Alright, um, not gonna do anything here. I'm just gonna say go. <laughs> There's a Chega. Ooh. It's kind of tempting to just say go and make a giant questing adventure. Say play questing, innervate coin, <laughs> Tinker Town, but I don't think that's right. We have a 5-5 five, five, and a 3-3 three, three next turn. Maybe that is right. I could just draw to the claw here and then then just play stuff out from there. We still have a totally reasonable reasonable curve and just have a draw to the claw in play. That might be best, actually. Eh. There's like nothing he can do to kill it, basically. He can't fireball it or anything. And protecting, like, if we do play Questy Adventure next turn, like, that's actually pretty, you know, pretty difficult for to, to deal with behind the wall of the Druid. So I think I want to attack into this because if I kill the, the Snow Chugger, he can't kill my guy with, um, with just Frostbolt. It would have to be Frostbolt and something else. Maybe it's not actually right for me to play Questing Adventure this turn, because if he does kill this, then he can eat Questing Adventure. Though then I do potentially have a swipe next turn. Like if I attack here, he's still to do four damage to this, which he can, I mean, if he has a fireball, he can do. I think I do want to play Questing Adventure, because it's not going to get better. No, I think I'm just going to play Tinker Town, because there's no way for him to just like, eat a Tinker Town. Like if I had attacked this, he could just Frostbolt this. This way, oh, water ammo, okay. Well, now we get to just eat this. I guess I could have played a questing adventure. So we attack this, he can like attack here and ping. Doesn't look like he has a fireball or frostball, he might have played it. I can also just like dark iron this and just face him. Doesn't seem right though. I think I'm just gonna attack and just play a dark iron dwarf. This way, he has no he has no like good just like trade down targets. Like he can attack here and ping. That uses his turn pretty inefficiently. Mm. Or he can just attack into it this. No, okay, so oh, okay, a charge. It's not bad. Um, so I think I may just face him and play a, a, another bear. I don't want to like attack into one of these and have his hero power just kill my guy. If he does a fireball, yeah, if his fireball, I'm actually not in a bad spot too, because I still just have a 4-4. Four, four. I did see the new Blackrock Mountain cards. Uh, I'll be writing about them for BMK Gaming soon. Uh, I haven't, uh, haven't quite had an opportunity to do so just yet. Power of the Wild. So I can Dark Iron this, Power of the Wild my team, and kill his guy. I could Power of the Wild my team, tack this, swipe this guy and kill everything. Power, that, that leaves me, if I Dark Iron, then I'm really vulnerable to a Flame Strike next turn. So I think I actually wanna, wanna clear his board. I think I wanna Power of the Wild, uh, and then swipe. Attack this, swipe this. Still flame strike me, but now he has nothing in play, and I get to play Ancient of Lore into his empty board. There's flame strike, and I will play Ancient of Lore into his empty board. All right. So we can dark iron this into this. 
I think I may play questing and dark iron. Um, that leads me to potentially get a big questing uh, over the next couple turns. I'll have nine mana next turn, um, which will let me play like this plus this or something. I can also potentially get questing wild growth. Maybe it's actually maybe I just play dark iron and then chill wind, and I can save questing for when I can wild growth multiple times in one turn and get it huge. Uh, that might be best. It's also just like gives me a bigger board that he has to deal with right away. Yeah, like if I just the next turn I can play like piloted sky golem, and the following turn I can play questing growth, trigger the the uh, excess mana off of growth. This gives me a more a more substantial board presence right now, uh, and still leaves me with a, the opportunity to get a ton of value off of off of questing adventure on a future turn when I get the cycle. So I kind of just want to trade here so he doesn't um, he doesn't have the opportunity to possibly flame strike me again. Also, it, le it, it keeps my piloted Sky Golem safe from getting attacked. He's gonna kill this. I'm gonna play this guy now because he's gonna start growing. I can save this guy for next turn. The second flame strike, it's actually not not horrible for us because we still have this. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Oh, flame cannon. Okay. Ooh, Savage Roar. Um, maybe I do just Savage Roar and kill this with this. I can play Questing Adventure, Wild Growth Cycle. Well, let's start with this. Dark Whispers. Um, I don't really... No, Savage Roar's kind of a waste here. I can just play this and Hero Power, like attack this in and Hero Power attack it. Especially since I just do Dark Whispers, which is gonna, which makes Savage Roar a lot better later. Can fix the echo? Uh, I just turn my speakers out. I probably should play with headphones, but yeah, I want to get I want to get this combo off. It may not be the best plan, but it'll be awesome if it happens. I did I did play poorly around Cone of Cold there. Another flame strike. Yeah, if Dark Christmas were Tree of Life here, it would kill both players. All right. Well, I'm gonna hope he doesn't have a third flame strike. Wisp value. We're going for it. Yeah, many wisps. Handle it. Oh man. Roar. What's that sound effect? <laughs> Dark Whisper Savage Roar! Get it! <laughs> oh, that was glorious. That was absolutely glorious.